welcome to the Lighten Up Podcast with Lauren Polly, your invitation for living on the lighter side of life. I'm Lauren Polly, and I am delighted you have chosen to join me today for episode 183, When People Are Bugging You. <laughs> We're going to talk today about a few different tips and perspectives you can take to have more ease with people, especially when they're bothering you or getting on your nerves. I know I'm not the only one who experiences that. I think the most stressful thing most of us experience in life is the other people that kind of orbit around us and interact with us uh, on a daily basis or sometimes just for a season of our life. Uh, No matter how much work you have been doing with yourself, on yourself to feel good in your own skin and create things in your life that you absolutely love, hum and drumming along, The inevitable kind of um, bumps in the road, should we call it, is when someone else gets added to the mix. Uh, Obviously, you know this by now, you have no control over other people. Uh, If you don't know this by now, it may be a good time to start really implementing that. You have no control over what other people choose or how they respond to any given situation. That's on them. That's not on you. So a lot of times when we are feeling really good and things are moving and then either a new person enters our life or someone who's been around for a while is going through something, whatever that is, uh, all of a sudden there's a little bit of a hiccup or a bump for us. Um, Again, when it's not out of your, when it's out of your comfort zone, you're not able to control, you're also not the one in the choosing position. They are making their own choice and how they're in relationship with you gets a bit tricky, you know? Uh, Sometimes we can be really bothered by other people's behaviors, their actions. Uh, Kind of the first tool to really look at with that is, is it really the action that's bothering you with that other person or is it the energy behind? Behind the action. You know, sometimes there are people who are obviously treating us in a way that we don't enjoy. Sometimes that's easier to call out. It's easier to fix of like, hey, you're doing this thing. It's really bothering me. It's not honoring of me. I don't like the way you talk to me, whatever. Um, it's a difficult conversation to have, but the action and calling those things out, calling a spade a spade is easier with that. It is part of the seen world. It's part of the matter of the world where you can hear it, you can see it, you can speak to it quite easily. What I find so often is these little rub points, these irritations that come, uh, this thing where you're kind of like, you're not overtly mean to me, but you're bugging me. (laughs) That's usually coming not so much from the action, it's coming from the energy behind the action, the kind of reason behind why they're doing what they're doing. Sometimes this is very subconscious. This is very unconscious for people. They may not even realize they're doing it. And by being able to call out, even not to them, just to yourself of the energy behind it that's bothering you gives you a lot more clarity, a lot more insight to be able to have more choices to choose from, and a lot more ease as well. So when someone is doing something that really doesn't quite mesh with you or make you feel delicious as most of us desire to be, really start looking at, cool, what's the action here? Is there something I have to call out on that level? And if this action normally doesn't bother me, but this one is, I wonder what the energy is beneath it all. You know, for an example, I met somebody new online, an online dating platform, and uh, we met up at the beginning of the week and we're text messaging a little bit and got together for the first time last night. And it was fascinating because I'm not a huge texter. I'm not somebody who texts back and forth with a lot of people. Um, That's just kind of not how I'm built. So, and I warned him about that. I'm not a huge texter, just so you know, it's not like a personal thing. This is just kind of not really a fun thing for me. Uh, But at the same time, he kept sending me one after the other, after the other, after the other. There was morning ones, there was afternoon ones, there was good nights in the evening. And I'm like, wow, I haven't even met this person yet. Um, Part of it was the action of, again, having so many text messages when I've you know, clearly stated that's kind of not how I enjoy to be communicated with. Uh, But beyond all of that, I'm like, why am I getting my feathers ruffled over something so simple as receiving texts? Well, I started to look at what the energy was beneath all of it. So the energy that was there 
that was truly the thing that I wasn't enjoying was this energy of inserting himself into my day-to-day living. Um, Kind of like being a little bit more aggressive or assertive of like, I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still here. And it was fascinating because the text, the action was one thing, but when I looked at the energy beneath it, I went, wow, that's just a bit more of an aggressive energy that I don't actually enjoy in the dating realm. So for me, not that I needed to act or do anything with that, it just gave me more clarity on why I was getting bugged so much by it. Having a little bit more space and ease coming from that clarity became a lot more easy to deal with. So look at that for yourself. What is a big irritation in your world right now? What is the action that's coming that may not be suited to what you enjoy? And are there conversations that need to be had around that topic with whoever that is? And beyond the action, look underneath what the energy is. What is the energy that you receive when that action is taken by that person? And is it perhaps the action not really the big thing that's bothering you? Is it really the energy that the person's taking beneath it? Is it their perspective? Is it their mindset that you're picking up on and not enjoying? Having clarity with that and just allowing yourself to go, okay, cool, that's the action, that's part of the seen world, that I can call out. But even the energy beneath it, part of that unseen world that we are all so aware of, the energy, that perspective, that mindset, their need, whatever that is, whatever is coming at you with it, if you get more clear on that, you're going to have a bit more ease as well. Not that you're justifying why they're doing what they're doing. This is not about trying to explain away quote unquote bad behavior or abusive behavior by any means or trying to make yourself okay or accepting of energies that you don't enjoy. This is just building the ever important skill of calling a spade a spade. And as soon as you're able to call a spade a spade, not even out loud, but to yourself in your own awareness of the world, of other people, of yourself, everything gets easier. Everything gets easier. So start with the action, the overt, the scene. Look at the energy. Look at the perspective that is being delivered with that. Get some clarity around that with the unseen part of it. And then from there, start doing some digging. Start doing some insight work with that. You know, I went out on a date with this guy last night and it was fascinating. I didn't have to overtly call it out. I just started to poke around with different questions with him as we were getting to know each other, which is, of course, what you do on a first date. You know, and come to find out the guy has been stood up multiple times by women he's met online. So I went oh, no wonder he wanted to confirm the date like five times. (laughs) From my perspective, uh, I show up when I say I'm going to show up. If I say yes to something, I'm pretty good at follow through. And if I don't and I change my mind, I always tell the person, you know, I'm not rude that way. Uh, But it hadn't even dawned on me that that may have been his experience before. So allowing myself to kind of go, oh, that's kind of why he's doing what he's doing interesting. Um, Then he was talking about needing to text a lot just because he found that other women had lost interest or kind of forgot about him. (laughs) Poor little guy. Um, So I kind of said, oh, that's where that's coming from, that ever need to constantly be like, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, Uh, which again wasn't in the text message, but it was totally the energy that I was picking up on. And quite frankly, it was bothering me because I'm like, I know you're there. I got you. You're okay. Uh, So that was very easy. It just took a conversation of like, yeah, cool. This is my schedule. Again, I don't like text messaging a whole bunch. Um, You know, this is kind of how I usually communicate with people, especially at the very beginning. Everything got easier from there. And it was fascinating because I had such a fun, pleasant evening last night. And I was very close to calling the whole thing off because of the action And also because of the energy I was picking up on. But when I was willing to get more clear and call that out for myself, it became easier. And then when I was actually willing to engage a bit more with that person, ask some questions and speak up for myself and actually allow kind of clarity on both ends to call a spade a spade out and say, hey, this is actually kind of what I enjoy. Everything got easier. All of that stuff went away and we were able to totally enjoy each other. 
So I wanted to give this kind of practical example just so you can kind of go, oh, I wonder how I can use that for myself. There are so many times where actions of other people bug us. They bother us. They irritate us. They don't sit well. And so often we pull away from possibilities because of that. Um, Again, it's not trying to justify what they're doing. It's not like, okay, cool, I just have to like accept being treated poorly or something that I don't enjoy. This is just a starting spot. This is a place to kick off and do some more awareness work and some more insight gathering and to go from there, actually have more clarity to make more choices so that you can go deeper in your relationships or perhaps go, you know what, this isn't a relationship and a dynamic that's going to work for me. There's no biggie with that. There's also, if you can tap in, a lack of drama because whenever you make something super dramatic of like, you're bothering me, you're irritating me, I have to get away from you, uh, you are separating from that individual. You're causing an upset where there doesn't have to be. If you're able to just relax into it a little bit and go, okay, this isn't sitting well, what's the action that's not sitting well? What's the energy being delivered beyond that that may be a bit harder for me to see or call out? And then now I wonder if I actually put myself in their shoes, I allowed myself to see the world and the situation from their perspective, what would I be aware of? And then what conversation could I actually bring up that may remedy the whole situation? If it wasn't about having drama and fight and the need to separate and run away, you were actually willing to work yourself through this just so there was more clarity, more ease, and perhaps even a cleaner break if that's what it came to. Would your life be easier and would your dynamics with people, your relationships with people, which is kind of like one of the bigger underpinnings of our life and our world, be easier? If you have more ease dealing with people, your life gets easier because we deal with people all the time in many different scenarios, many different situations. And again, we have no control over them or their behavior or their choices. What we do have control over and conscious choice with is our own awareness, how deep we're willing to go, how open we're willing to be to exploring that and not judging the other person, but allowing ourselves to ask more questions to engage deeper, to get to the heart of the matter, have more ease, and then make a choice from there. So have fun playing with this. As I said, this is something that can be used in any scenario. This can be family stuff. This can be personal dating stuff. This can be marriage stuff. This could be work stuff. You know, actually doing this with your employees or the people that you work with. I do this all the time. It makes my life way easier at my hospital job. It's also something, tidbit for you coaches and facilitators out there, if you're willing to actually play with this more, the impact you can have with your clients is huge. Um, I've noticed this, just me being able to really flip my perspective and immerse myself in their perspective, actually leading to a lot more change and growth my personal coaching clients and in my workshops and everything. So being able to actually have this skill set of not reacting, not pulling away because of the action or the energy, but doing the work of actually gaining the insight and the awareness without giving yourself up, without judging yourself, and being able to then work with the dynamics of the relationship actually lead to amazing, amazing results the more you go. So have fun digging into this content. Again, you can always join the Lighten Up community. It's a free community online where we have deeper conversations about this and you can find more exclusive content up there. And as always, have an amazing week and I will chat with you next Tuesday.